So you're going through corner cross-linking. What's the process of going through corner cross-linking? What happens is you're gonna lie down on a bed. Uh, they're gonna use these little drops, something soften and thicken your cornea. Then they're gonna scrape off the front part of the eye, usually called the corneal epithelium. And then they blast your eye with ultraviolet light after putting riboflavin drops in it. It's gonna hurt quite a bit. <laughs> You're gonna wanna like, preemptively get your, your pain medication even before the visit. You go home and you start, uh, and then you start the healing process. It can take days to weeks, you know, for it depends on the person. Um, but just know that it's gonna be kind of a miserable few days at least as your cornea is healing. That's called epithelium off cross -linking. Now, if you want the one that's a little bit less invasive, there's epithelium on. Basically, they don't scrape the front part of the cornea before they blast it with the ultraviolet light and riboflavin. It's being going, it's going through studies, pretty promising, potentially not as effective, currently not FDA approved as the epithelium off version of cross -linking. But for some patients that is more palatable because they can't just deal with the physical pain and the time away from work if they have to scrape up the epithelium. So there's really two types, epi on and epi off cross -linking. Um, Definitely talked about by your, with your surgeon, especially if keratoconus at any age, it's, it's worth a discussion, at least ask him about it. Because again, it can definitely slow down the progression of keratoconus.